everybody, it's Nicole or Nikki Briggs here. I hope that you are having an amazing day, an amazing morning, whenever it is that you may be watching this video. I know that I am because this morning I hopped on Promo Bricks and I see that all of the Lego Avatar sets for this year have been released at San Diego Comic Con, at least the pictures have. I've been checking like every single day trying to find any pictures, any rumors or leaks about these sets and so I was so excited this morning when I saw that all the pictures have been released. I gotta say, initially my plan was to purchase like every single one of these. I don't think I will do that anymore. One, because of the prices, but two, because some of them are just not quite what I expected. But we'll get into that right now, so we're just gonna take a look at these sets one by one and talk about them. I just kind of briefly looked at everything. I did not look at it in detail at all. So our first set here is the Brickhead set of Jake Sully and his avatar. Did I expect this on any level? No. How do I feel about it? I'm gonna get it. I don't think that this is a very good looking set, especially for a Brickhead. Something about the avatar just looks really bizarre but I like Brickheads. I'm in that like minority group of people that really likes Brickheads. Quick, small, fun set at like a pretty decent price. And it's Avatar, I mean, come on. So yeah, I mean, looking at this set, there's it just, there's something a little bit kind of wonky looking about these Brickheads. They just, they look more off than Brickheads normally do, which is weird to say. But I think that Jake Sully and like his detachable wheelchair is really cool actually. And his avatar also looks really good. I think they should have probably made the avatar a little bit taller, but I do like the whole tribal look of him. He's got the staff, the teeth, the yellow eyes, the printed eyes there look really cool. And of course, like the printed arm pieces. He's got like a wrap around his arm, a loincloth, like a wrap around his chest. They, they look pretty, pretty good. And yeah, releasing October 1st, about 20 euros. That's about what I expect it to be here in the US. So yeah, a set that I didn't expect, but one that I will be getting. Okay, so here's one that upon first look, I kind of decided was probably not for me. I'm also going to point out again that I am a newly established super fan of the Avatar franchise, so I'm going to butcher these names because I've only seen this movie three times in my life and two times was like six, seven years ago, so these alien names are not engraved in my mind yet, but I will get there, I promise. So this is set 75571, Natiri and Thanador versus Quaritch at MPA. I don't know what I would have expected this set to be, but I I didn't really care for the whole sort of Iron Man avatar suit that Quaritch wears. But I think the way that they might get me with this set is Natiri, because I don't know if she comes in all of the sets or if this is the only one she comes in, and if that's the case, that is really gonna suck, because I don't want to get all of these sets just to complete, like, my minifigure collection of all of these avatar characters, and I... I'm kind of getting the feeling right off the bat that that's the direction we're going in. I really like Natiri and that really scary, like, dog creature that she was writing, which is called the Thanator. One thing I do really love is that you can connect her hair to, um, to her little creature there, which is one part of Avatar that I just always thought was so cool, that they made this, like, mental bond with any creature that they rode, like those, <laughs> those pterodactyl things. I kind of wish that it looked more like a long braid as opposed to just using a pipe looking piece to connect them, but I mean, what are you really going to do about that? So this set is a no, probably for me, even though I really want Natiri, I might just have to find like another way to get her because I'm not, I don't really care for this style of Lego set. Okay, now this is a set that I was just hoping and dreaming they would make. I'm so excited for this one. This is 75572, Jake and Natiri's first flight on a banshee. I don't remember these things being called banshees. Avatar, birds, Ekron. Yeah, Ekron, okay, that sounds more correct. So these pterodactyl looking Ekron creatures were just so beautiful for me in the film. So I was really surprised to see these set pictures and see that you could get two. And right off the bat, I can see that I can get Natiri in this set, so... I don't know if it's the same Natiri minifigure. Let me see. It's different. I don't think I care. I think I'll just get Natiri in this set. Yeah, I don't need two Natiris. Okay, great. So this, <laughs> the last set is out. This set is in. I just think these birds are so beautiful. I, my mind was literally blown 
at how beautiful these printed pieces are. That actually looks like it might be cloth. That is cloth. Okay. So we get some cloth pieces in this set, 572 pieces. I'm sort of, I mean, I don't really know how this price is going to translate to here in the US, but for 55 euros, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised with this set because everything is kind of suffering a price increase, especially with that one really expensive avatar set that we're going to get to really soon. I was a little concerned, so I'm happy to see that this one is not like 70 euros because I could have seen that being a thing. Both of these minifigures, I know people have an issue with these Avatar minifigures looking kind of creepy is what I've heard, but I think they look great. I'm not gonna lie. I think these guys look awesome. Um, I really would have preferred like waist length braided hair or something like that. I don't totally care for this side build that you get with the two Ekrons. Yeah, I just want both of my pterodactyls as well as Jake and Atiri. This is a fantastic set if you love Avatar and the creatures and the colors because it's like the the main sort of exotic and beautiful aspect of the whole film is kind of thrown into this set, which I love. This one and that Tree of Life set, which we'll get to really soon. I'm actually really excited about this wave, you guys. This October 1st group of sets that we're getting. Ugh. Okay, on the other hand, here is a set that like seriously dropped the ball. You cannot have a set called The Floating Mountains about the Avatar movie and then not release a set with like those floating rocks that have those vines coming down on them. I mean, you... Ugh. My expectations for this set, with this name at least, were through the roof. And no, I did not expect The Floating Mountains set to be about that little cubicle <laughs> that they have like up in the mountains as well as like the helicopter. This is not what I wanted. It comes with cool minifigures. Trudy's in the set and I love her because I love the actress, um, Michelle Rodriguez, I think is her name. Yeah, but I just, you know, I don't necessarily care for this group of minifigures aside from the build. Sure, you do get Norm who, I mean, as far as I've seen, doesn't come in any other set. You also get Jake, again, Trudy, Dr. Grace, human Jake with the really cool mask printing on his face, which I gotta say does look really nice. And I'm sure that that's exclusive to this set because that's how they get you, right? But yeah, I mean, the horse is there. There's a few things that are going to be exclusive to just this set. But um, yeah, at the 90 euro price range and with nothing particularly Avatar-esque looking in this set, because this is all really just like human planet earth products brought to the colonized area of this planet and I, uh, I'm not into it. You can lay Jake Sully down like inside of that tube where he falls asleep, he turns into the avatar or he like wakes up in his avatar body. There's some good play features with the helicopter again. The really cool horse creature is there and I'm sure you can also attach your hair to it to bond with it. Yeah, I'm, uh, maybe not. It looks like he's got blue reins. I don't know if you can attach your hair to it. Yeah, but anyway, that one is going to be another no for me. What I do also find really interesting about this is that I thought these were actually going to be sets from the upcoming film, and these are all from the first Avatar. So my guess is that this first 2022 wave coming in October is going to be all from the first movie, which was like 10 years ago now, I think. Um, and maybe next year we'll get some new Avatar sets that are based on the upcoming film. Again, which I'm really excited for and I would hope would have a lot more kind of colorful, more alien looking sets in it. But yeah, anyway, the Floating Mountain set Site 26 and RDA Samson is not, not at all what it should have been. Floating mountains. Really? No. Okay. Moving on. So this is the set that I have seen many pictures of. I think like a month ago I saw pictures of this set. It is 100% like if I could only get one of these sets, this is the one I would get and I'm sure that many other people feel the same. This is the Lego Avatar 75574 Toruk Makto and the Tree of Souls told you I'm new to this film. My pronunciation is not good yet. I will get there, I promise. I'll try again. Toruk Makto. Toruk Makto. I hope. Okay. So this set is beautiful. Hands down. Like it's it's just the most stunning avatar set. It's going to be one of my favorite Lego sets of all time. Just on these set pictures, I feel that way about it. It's 
absolutely gorgeous. You get four Avatar minifigures with this set. You get Natiri, Jake, Sully as he's turning into the Avatar, I think, because again, this strikes me as the scene from the last movie, yeah. Oh, Jake Sully riding Turuk Makto, I think is his name, or like the legend of that pterodactyl bird. And then also Moat and Tsute. E anyway, really amazing Avatar minifigures. Again, I think that they look stunning. I know a lot of people are just not fans of them. I think their design is fantastic. I like the long legs. They don't look weird to me. And as far as the printing on these figures go, I do think that they're very impressive. I also, I don't think I even mentioned it, but I love the box art on all of these sets. Like the picture of Jake and Natiri on the front of every box. It just looks really good. But anyway, Toruk Makto in this set, Again, you get those cloth pieces for his wings. I am absolutely loving the design printed on those wings. They look insane. The end looks very much like a butterfly or like insect wings where you can just kind of see through some of the like shredded, I guess, threading or, or veins of the wings. And he is a brick built figure. You can attach Jake Sully as his avatar on top, which is super cool. And he's got some pretty gnarly looking claws. Quite honestly, aside from Turuk Makto, my favorite aspect of this set, and probably for a lot of people, is going to be the Tree of Souls, which is just stunning. I am seriously eyeing those, like, hot pink lightsaber pieces. I'm pretty certain that's what they are, and so you know that I am going to be taking, like, one of those at least. Hopefully two, so that I can make my own custom minifigure of myself with, like, the double-bladed hot pink lightsabers because that's my look, my people, that's for me. The tree is beautiful. I love the way that it's got the vines climbing up around the base of it. Again, the colors are so pretty. I actually think that the hot pink might be kind of off. I remember it being more purple. Yeah, it's kind of pinkish purple, but also white. Um, it does come with like another side build with just some alien life. That is also really beautiful. And I am very happy to see that since I'm not getting that ridiculous floating mountain set that comes with the really cool blue horse that he also comes in this set. So quite honestly, if you're more picky about these avatar sets like I am, if you just kind of want the really alien looking stuff, I just want the Turuk Makto and Tree of Souls set, Natiri and Jake flying on their pterodactyls and the brickheads. You don't have to get the brickheads. Um, I don't know how well that's gonna sell, to be quite honest with you. I mean, who knows? I bet after the movie comes out in December, and these will definitely be available through at least, like, the beginning of summer is, like, the earliest I can see them retiring these sets. Um, and that would be if they did really poorly and if they underproduced them, in my opinion. I mean, if you just get the, the Tree of Souls set and the Banshee set, then you're pretty much covered. I mean, you get three of the Banshees, you get a horse, you get a ton of Avatar minifigures. That would be like six, I think. Mm. The only bummer is it kind of looks like I'm not going to get a human Jake Sully. Oh, that actually, that is a bummer. I really won't get a human Jake Sully, aside from the brickheads, and that does not count. Okay, so there are a few reasons why I may eventually get the Floating Mountains set. Uh, but it would just be for the minifigures, so probably not. We'll see if it goes on sale. Anyway, <laughs> those are all of the sets, you guys. Again, I'm super excited for them. I have been waking up every morning and like the first thing I've done for the last month is gone on promo bricks to try and see if these sets have released yet or again just the pictures of the set and so I'm really excited that they have. I feel pretty relieved that I actually only want three of these sets and one of them is a Brickheads. Still be pricey but they will be really cool. This is gonna be like a new favorite line of mine probably like right next to Lego Star Wars which is pretty crazy actually. But anyway that is all I have to say about these sets. I'm super excited for them. October 1st, I am gonna be there like, I don't know how many people are gonna buy these. How early do I get to the Lego store? Probably just like an hour early. Please let me know if any of you guys are as excited about these sets as I am because I really want to understand how well Lego expects these to sell because I truly just don't know. So let me know what your favorite set is from this new wave, this new theme of Lego Avatar. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next time.